crafts to directing again. And I did. Clearly something you've been passionate about on this show. Is that something you're looking to do outside of Supernatural? Or do you feel just comfortable doing it? I certainly feel comfortable doing it. More comfortable, I think, than I would doing it on a different set. Um, I have, you know, I'm surrounded by a crew that, that wants me to succeed and that, that respects me and uh, that I've spent many, many years trying to earn their respect in my, you know, the tone and the professionalism that I, that I try to, to bring to set every day. Um, but it's, uh, uh, it's very, uh, it's, it would be very difficult to, not difficult, it's not gonna be difficult. It'll be a different kind of a challenge to go onto a different set. Yeah. And surround yourself with a bunch of people who you don't have a personal relationship with, uh, and try to tell a story that you're not overly familiar with. Um, you know, we have people come on our set and do it all the time. We have new directors that, that you know show up and, and try to tell our story and try to command a crew that they have no personal relationship with. Right. Um, and it, it's it's doable. Um, it's also uh, it's it's also a very difficult task. And I, I applaud the people that have come onto our show and have directed our show uh, without having the history that you know that I have with the show and I've succeeded because it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but I would I would look forward to a challenge like that. I think that would re that'd be really cool. Um, I might try to keep it. I might try to keep it in the CW family, so there's a little bit of familiarity and uh, a little bit of a safety net there. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I I, I never assume anything. Uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunities that come my way when they do. And uh, when I when I first directed, it wasn't because I, I negotiated it in my contract or because I demanded it or because I was you know being a difficult actor about it. I literally went to them and I was like, "You've seen my interest." Uh, you've mentioned that this is something that you thought I could do. I'm only going to, I, I would only do this if you had the confidence in me to do it and you trusted me enough to do it. If you do, I will do everything I can to make it a great episode. If you don't, I completely understand it's a very difficult task. And they were like, no, no, you get an episode. So, and I think that's, I think that's really a, a smart way to come at it. Um, as opposed to go, you know, I've been on the show for three years. I demand an episode to direct. And I didn't even know I wanted to direct either. I mean, it was something that I just took an interest in what was going on behind the camera because I thought it would better help me, serve me as an actor. You know, why did they use that lens? Why do they move the cameras in this particular way? What, you know, what are, what are the, what are the focal links bring to it? The transition, why do you transit? how do you transition? And all of that stuff was, I mean, I didn't go to film school. I didn't go to acting school. I didn't go to directing school. I didn't, I didn't learn that stuff from a textbook. I learned it by asking directors and camera operators and focus pullers why things were done a certain way and what benefit that had to storytelling. And so that interest in it, I guess, caught the attention of the right people and they said, you could probably do this. And I will say that it is a very difficult task. Yeah. It is a massive challenge, much bigger than, than showing up and just playing one part. Because you have to be, res you're responsible for the whole shebang. Uh, and you have to answer a hundred questions a day um, and you better have answers.